Hi, we have a short talk here with uh, Lawrence Trent. Hi, Hi Lawrence. Um, chess player, Chelsea fan, <laughs> salsa dancer. That's true. What's the most important thing in your life right now at the moment? Oh, that's a good question. I'm trying to find that out actually. Um, <laughs> my priorities have changed somewhat. So, yeah, um, Chelsea is a big part. Actually, we're playing Manchester United tomorrow. Big game for us because um, Tottenham are winning at the moment. So, if we win against United tomorrow, uh, we might win the league. That would be nice. But uh, yeah, chess is still a big part of my life. Obviously, very happy to be here back in, uh, well, in Karlsruhe. It's actually my first time I was in Baden Baden before. And obviously, a fantastic event here and huge uh, kudos to the organization. I can see out of the corner of my eye a big part of that organization team, Mr. Sven Noppers, and everybody else. Um, I don't remember seeing a tournament this big in Europe. Probably well, we have actually more than 1,200 players yeah, here in the unbelievable. Open. Unbelievable! Unbelievable! And uh, everybody I've spoken to has said how how nicely things have been organised, and everybody feels very comfortable here, and everything's working fine. So, just a great tournament. So, yeah. Uh, do you think it's a bit comparable with uh, like the London Chess Classic in its in uh, number of people playing, or um, is it a bit different setup? I think it's a bit different. Uh, I think there are just much more players here. Um, with London also there's a, a very heavy sort of scholastic element so about chess in schools that's really a huge theme of the tournament here it's about about playing but of course there are people of all ages and uh, playing here so it's really nice to see such a big mixture of people and not just Germany you've got everybody from Europe has basically come to this tournament all the top players uh, grandmasters down to amateur players have come from all over Europe so yeah, it's just a really impressive tournament. It's quite a thing, uh, playing nine rounds in, let's say, five days is yeah. quite grueling. Starting it's at nine o'clock, is it yeah. difficult for a, for a chess oh. player to start at nine o'clock in the morning? I can tell you, when I was younger, I didn't mind. I remember when I was, you know, in my teens, I kind of dealt with it. But even now, playing two games a day, when you, when, when you put on a few more years, it's, it's really tough. And there are some really strong younger players here as well. So some of these top grandmasters, perhaps who aren't used to playing two games a day, a lot of them only play one game a day still. So for them to adjust to two games a day, nine o'clock round, a lot of them uh, will be struggling with that. But uh, we'll see how things develop towards the end of the tournament. There's nothing for an old old 30 man year old man like I you to play once two. You, once you get to 30, you really start to feel the double rounds. So good? yeah, good absolutely. Good. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. But um, we'll see. There are some really interesting, uh, really interesting players. We'll see who's got the stamina to go to the end. Sure. Okay, let's go to the classic today. Yes. We have uh, Magnus yes. playing after three months of uh, mm. took a short a break, so mm -hmm. to speak, after Vaikanze. Mm -hmm. um, any ideas about his about his? Uh, well, well, after three months hiatus, yeah. it's going to be one of those uh, very interesting uh, tournaments where you'll either say he needed the three months break and he puts in the performances that we know he can make mm -hmm. or we say well three months he's too rusty he puts in a below par performance or a disastrous performance and we say well he shouldn't have had the three months break it's going to be really interesting to analyze towards the end um, what these three months have done but um, you know knowing Magnus um, and knowing also that he's still extremely competitive he will have seen how for example Wesley has been dominating tournaments for six months now winning everything and he wants to put some distance again between him and Wesley uh, and remind everybody that he is still the best player by some margin um, do you think it's a bit difficult for him to because it's quite a short tournament it's seven rounds only yeah. he has four blacks yes he has needs to push I think from the uh, round one well, I think th this is perhaps the most interesting dynamic of the tournament that myself and Peter Lecco who are doing the commentary are going to talk about a lot and that is that Magnus has got four blacks against um, the lower rated opponents and Maxime has got four whites against the lower rated opponents and who benefits from that um, I don't think Magnus is phased by having black if we look at his career he's always pushed even with black but you know if you start pushing too much against these guys you can get punished also so it'll be really interesting to see how he handles the the number of blacks I think he just wants to put in a good solid performance win the tournament remind everybody who he is 
Um, and then, of course, there are many more tournaments coming up, Norway chess and everything else that he will play this year. So, But it's going to be really interesting, yeah.